Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to fully reveal and talk about the new body for Clyde 2.0. So here it is, it is a geo tracker. I'm uh, unsure of the year, I think it's early 90s. You probably recognize it. It was from Trash Pan Off-Road. It is the one he called Bulldog. He raced tough trucks in it. Uh, he got rid of it, then got it back, then got rid of it again. But, uh, you know, it made me a really good offer or a really good deal on it. Couldn't refuse it. So I took it home after our wheeling trip. I'm gonna get ready to start swapping this body onto Clyde. So, I mean, it is a tin top and I'm fine with that. I originally wanted a convertible with a soft top, but now I'm, I'm actually really excited to have a tin top. And we're gonna be changing some of our plans along the way. Uh, one, just to fix issues that Clyde had and two, because I do want to protect this body. So we need to change a few things. It's going to work out. So let's go ahead and talk about that. So to protect the body, we are going to just do an exo cage. I'm going to build a nice exo cage. It looks really good. It's really clean and really tight. Um, I know these tin tops are somewhat rare. So I want to keep it protected at some point. Unfortunately, you know, we're going to have to cut these fenders a lot. But, uh, you know, I want to keep this general area protected. Everything else will be all right. As long as that part's protected, I'll be happy. So during the body swap stage, there are two things that we're definitely going to change. I am most likely going to link the front end of Clyde of, on that chassis. And also redo the steering completely. I want to do some hydro assist and some high steer. I'm not 100% sure or set in stone on what I'm gonna do, but I know we gotta change everything up there. So that is in the works. And my plan is to stretch it to about 107 inches, roughly. While I'm at it, I'm probably gonna go ahead and just service the transmission and service the engine and service the front and rear axle. Definitely the front since it's broken now, but uh, you know, again, I want to be able to drive it on the road, especially with gas prices being stupid high. Diesel is 509 out here now. So, I mean, a rig on like 37s, 38s probably isn't going to get the best of mileage, but it's going to feel, feel better filling up this thing versus the diesel. So, obviously, we're going to have to chop these front fenders a ton, but I have an idea there. We'll, we'll get to that in the near future. The rear, we're gonna have to just probably straight chop that off. Do something with the lights. Um, I already have a front bumper, rear bumper, all that just built on to the other chassis. So I don't have to worry about any of that. Rock sliders are taken care of. Really all it's gonna be swapping body and linking the front. And then obviously stripping this one down and giving trash pan off-road his parts back that I'm not gonna use, so I only want the body. So a couple other things we're gonna have to do on this. I mean, obviously we're gonna have to switch all the pedals, switch a bunch of this interior out. Um, I'll probably leave the seats. I don't know if he's gonna want these back or not, I have to ask. But temporarily, they can stay, I hope. We're gonna build some custom door panels, so those are gone. And we'll do some, you know, the latches and the window thing. Actually, I don't know if it has oh it does yeah so i think we'll have to swap the dash but i'm not sure you know once we start really digging into it we'll know so there are three things in particular i'm super excited about and that is a having doors b having a top so heat is actually going to work and also c is going to be having an actual key Oh man, that's gonna be fantastic because I'm tired of using a screwdriver. Um, oh yeah, just come out. It does have a little bit of a leak in here, as you can see. Um, so yeah, I'm sure it's leaking somewhere, but it's fine. 
I might do whatever I can to keep this dash in here because I do like it. But if we have to swap it, we have to swap it. It'll be okay. It'll probably need a new windshield in the future, but uh, that's the least of my worries. Really, I just want to get this body on, get everything cut, and be able to drive it. I mean, that's just, you know, get it running, drive it. That's my plan. Make it drive good, I hope. And I also want to upgrade to like a selectable locker in the front because I'm tired of having a welded front diff and not being able to turn when I need it. A couple other things we're gonna obviously do is get rid of this, um, you know, fake carbon fiber. And I'm actually just gonna paint the body. I have a really cool color in mind, a nice color scheme. You know, get rid of all the stickers because, you know, we got our own. Like this, I don't even know what that is. Did I say Chupacabra? Hmm. Well, maybe go follow him on Instagram. No clue who that is, but uh, it looks like a cool car. Probably be in the market for a grill because I want to try to keep it mostly Suzuki. You know, that's kind of my idea is I don't want to just completely make it look non-Suzuki, kind of like Clyde. You know, this you'll be able to see like, oh yeah, it's a Geo Tracker. It's a Suzuki sidekick. With Clyde, everybody has to ask, what is that thing? And, uh, yeah, and then I had to tell him. But I want to keep it, you know, somewhat original, but also cool. And I also want to be able to go beat it up and, but not destroy it kind of thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Excitement's got me all over the place. So, yeah, there you have it. That is the new body for Clyde. Wish I could have did a little better about walk around on it, but I don't know a whole lot about it yet. But you know, as we go along, we'll figure more out. You know, we'll know what year it is, and we're gonna start swapping this body over really fast. Uh, it's gonna be a really fast-paced thing, I hope. So I want to get it done, you know, before summer. That's my plan. But plans change. I'm super, super excited about doing this upgrade. I mean, I just. I'm sad to see the original Clyde go away, kind of, but this is going to be more practical, way more fun, more enjoyable. And again, I'm just super excited, and I really hope that you guys subscribe, follow along this Clyde 2.0 build, and just watch this journey as it grows. Watch this thing get built. Give me, you know, cool ideas, and hopefully come out wheeling with it, and, you know, we get to explore some new places with having a new body because having a new body is going to open up many options to snow wheeling to driving it on you know let's say like overland overland adventures i'm not much of an overlander but i would like to go out and do like the things with zuki world and stuff like that and this is going to open up the doors to that and that's what i'm really most excited about is being able to do more adventures with this vehicle instead of Clyde the way he is. So thanks for watching the channel. I hope you're excited too. Again, don't forget to subscribe and have a good one.